the add some tooth forceps. It goes in your fingers like this. We're not tweezing eyebrows, therefore the forcep doesn't sit under. We need control and precision. Try like this, with the body of the forceps above your index finger. Little finger can be used for stability, and you simply lift up the skin edge. You do this at the same time as holding the needle holder or the scissor in your dominant hand. Most instruments are right-handed instruments, so it would typically look like this. The scissors. You hold this just like you do the needle holder. Ring finger, thumb, middle finger on the angle, index finger along the body. You open the scissor, slide down the suture, and cut with the tips. These are typically right-handed instruments, so this is how you would hold it. If you're cutting with your left hand, one ring is between your thumb and index, the middle finger is on the other ring. You simply apply opposing force and open and close the scissor.